This video presents a summary of the City of Portland's stormwater system in the Portland Harbor study area. The video shows the extent of the city and non-city drainage facilities, explains how the city's stormwater drainage system works, and how it has developed over time. Beneath the river, most submerged lands are owned by the state of Oregon. None are owned by the city of Portland. All bridges crossing Portland Harbor are owned and maintained by the state, Multnomah County, or by the railroads. The stormwater drainage area for Portland Harbor is about 12,000 acres. The city's stormwater system drains about half of this area. Stormwater contamination is affected by land use. Portland Harbor consists primarily of open space, industrial, residential, and commercial uses. Of the area drained by the city, the majority is open space. Stormwater runoff from open space, such as Forest Park, is an insignificant source of contamination. Of the remaining developed or urban area, the city drains only a small portion of the industrial land. About 30% of Portland Harbor's industrial properties discharge their stormwater to the city system. Most of the urban industrial property in Portland Harbor is along the waterfront and is drained to the river through private systems. Another factor that affects stormwater contamination is runoff from paved areas and roofs, as shown in the shaded area here. City streets account for only a small portion of the paved area. This portion of the video explains basic terminology including combined systems, separated systems, interceptors, combined sewer overflows, and controlled CSOs. Modern sewer systems carry stormwater and sanitary wastes in separate pipes. Sanitary sewage refers to household and, to the extent permitted, commercial and industrial wastewater. In a separated system, sanitary pipes collect only sanitary flows that are piped to the treatment plant, and the stormwater pipes collect only stormwater. Today, most of the city's basins in Portland Harbor are separated systems. When stormwater and sanitary wastewater are carried in the same pipe, this is called a combined sewer system. In the early 1900s, before Portland's treatment plant was built, stormwater and sanitary wastes drained into the same pipe and discharged to the river. After World War II, the city constructed interceptor pipes to convey sewage to the treatment plant. Interceptors are large pipes that carry flow from sanitary and combined pipes to the treatment plant. Diversion structures are designed to connect the combined pipes to the new interceptors. Inside the structure, a dam called a weir blocks flow from going toward the river and diverts it to the interceptors. During storm events, the diversion sends sanitary and stormwater into the interceptor pipe, which can accommodate three times the average sanitary flow. If a storm is large enough, it will generate more flow than can be conveyed to the treatment plant by the interceptor. The diversion structure sends the heavier sewage flows down into the interceptor while the remaining flow rises over the weir. A typical overflow is about 80% stormwater and 20% sanitary waste. Beginning in 1990, the frequency of CSO events has been steadily reduced by installing larger capacity pipes and keeping more rainwater from entering the system. The largest pipes, called CSO tunnels, can store most overflows which are pumped to the treatment plant after the storm is over. Once CSOs are controlled so that they will only reach the river during extreme storms, it is called a controlled CSO. This shows the land uses of Portland Harbor in 1936. Most of the development was residential and industrial along the waterfront. 
These are the areas where the city provided drainage services, which is largely residential. Waterfront businesses primarily installed their own outfalls to the river. Most sewers, public and private, at this time were combined systems that discharged directly to the river. During World War II, development expanded in the harbor. The city's stormwater service area expanded as well, but were limited to these areas. Starting in the late 1940s, the interceptor system was constructed to deliver sewage to the treatment plant, which opened in 1952. The treatment plant is located outside of the Portland Harbor drainage area. Treated water is discharged into the Columbia River, not to the Willamette. After construction of the interceptors, many industrial facilities redirected their wastewater from private outfalls to the city's system. By the 1970s, most of the shoreline properties had been developed for industrial use. The Northwest Interceptor System was completed in 1973, which separated stormwater and sanitary sewers in the Northwest industrial areas. This shows the city's service area after construction of the West Side Interceptor. Many of the shoreline properties continued to discharge stormwater directly to the river. By 1990, the city's service area had expanded to include additional stormwater systems, primarily for new or redeveloping industrial areas. Starting in the early 1990s, the city began implementing its 20-year CSO abatement program to significantly reduce the overflows to the Willamette River. These areas show the CSO basins that were present in 1990. By 1996, these basins were controlled. Linton outfalls were eliminated completely in 1992 and 2000 by redirecting all flow to the treatment plant. By 2006, these additional CSO basins were controlled. The city's CSO abatement program will be completed in 2011 when the remaining city CSO basins in Portland Harbor are controlled. This shows the area currently drained by city stormwater systems in the harbor. After 2011, the city's stormwater service area will continue to decrease as an additional 600 acres is directed to the treatment plant and facilities increasingly manage stormwater on site. While stormwater systems are often associated with municipalities, the history of urban waterfront development in Portland Harbor is different and has resulted in the majority of industrial areas providing stormwater drainage through private systems. The developed urban area, urban pavement, and outfalls highlighted here were privately constructed and remain in private operation. We hope this video has provided a better understanding of the extent and development of the city's stormwater service area in Portland Harbor.